there are plenty of ideas popping up every single day. Every Tom, Dick and Harry, including my neighbor, is making one. But when established pioneering models like Atomizu makes one, you can rest assured that there is something different coming out. Hey folks, Korax here. Let us see what the new Atomizu RDA is all about. The Creek by Atmizu. So what is it? It is a rebuildable dripping atomizer. Obviously a bottom feeding one as well. Let's take a closer look. Received quite a few additional stuff. But this one is the actual retail packaging of the Addy. A tin box wrapped in black cardboard sleeve. The usual stuff behind with package contents and social media branding. I must agree, it looks neat. Oh yes, proudly made in Greece. You face a warranty card upon opening. Valid for one year. Love this embossed seal. The selected finish? It comes in two finishes. Brushed steel, they call it SS mat. And bead blasted, they call it SS ice mat. There is also a third option, polished, but they don't advertise that and needs contacting them for it. Atmitude, eh? Padded base with each item securely placed in their own cutouts. The Addy, which is serialized. Nice deep CNC engraving. We also receive a spares bag with two extra post screws and the replacement non-squonking post pole. The creek comes in bottom feeding mode pre-installed. We also receive another mouthpiece adapter for standard 510 drip tips. Pre-installed is the 810 drip tip. Any 510 drip tip will sit fine on this adapter. And what is this? Oh wow! A spare positive post assembly. This one is the wide airflow one. Pre-installed will be the tighter airflow post. I'll show you in a minute. Let's first check out what else is in the box. An Allen key for post pole replacement. A branding sticker, a bag of o-rings, there are 5 pieces here and the user manual. Quite comprehensively written I see, pictographically. Now let's dig into the Addy. Two sets of air holes. This smaller one is strictly for mouth to lung. This is quite a dinky little fella. A 22mm Addy but with a small profile of mere 20mm. 
feel substantial though all inclusive weight is shy of 37 and half grams <laughs> and no it won't open easily there is a reason behind it a design tactic if you may there is something going on here i'll come back to that later the 5 turn adapter quite a solid piece of metal this is two o-rings to hold the sleeve raised airflow platform with two positive post assemblies to select from both available in the package tight airflow and wide airflow obviously one for MTL and the other for direct lungs remember the airflow is within the post inside and juice cannot enter it from the well this base airflow matches with the AFC on the sleeves 2 mm by 4 mm Cyclops air hole for direct lung while a 1 mm by 2 mm air hole for MTL the same is in the base as well cutouts for placing our coiling rods KFN type girder system around the post screws for easy wire trapping deep juice wells and a bonus notice these brackets at the outers of the posts they marry up with respective grooves cut inside the sleeve As such, there is only one way of attaching the sleeve to the deck. Similarly, only one way to remove it as well. So no accidental dislodging here. It just won't budge if not aligned properly. I like that. Now let me replace the MTL positive post with this wide airflow assembly. This is how to do it. At this juncture, you can also replace this conking pole, the hollow one, with the non-hollow one. That's it, now attach the sleeve. There are other non-metal sleeves available as well to accessorize it, but they are separate purchases. Example, this Ultem model.
each has their CNC graphics cut as well. And they come with their own matching 8 ton and 5 ton mouthpieces too. Here is the black sleeve. This is the shiny acrylic model. It's 8 ton and 5 ton mouthpieces. This is the matte finished one. It's mouthpieces. And they also come with a bag of additional o-rings. We can of course mix and match them up. I am liking this look. Black and gold goes well. Beautiful isn't it? Let's wash it and set it up. After washing up, we must lubricate the o-rings of every addy. I use Vaseline, you can use some e-liquid as well. I always prefer regular screws over grub screws. It's easier to work with. A 28 by 32 gauge Canthal Clapton, 2.4 mm diameter, resting the screwdriver in the guide slots just place the coil legs between the screws and the girders. I am not wrapping the wire. This coil is going nowhere. Now let's check the resistance and test fire it. It's a 1 ohms coil. Now let's wick it using rayon here and remember to roll it even if it is Japanese cotton pads. Snip the ends off at around 2 cm from the coil ends at each side then just tuck them in. Now soak it up to give a vapor test. Oh yes, all's well. Now let's take a vape. The Creek by Atmizu. What a vape! It has been in use for some time now. And I am using a 50-50 mix. I have used it in skonking as well as direct dripper mode. It is a winner in every which way you use it. Let me tell you why. First and foremost, this is a non-leaking RDA. Oh yes it is. I love its unique protected airflow channel design which remains within the positive post. Avoiding open contact with the deck well. Thus, this ATI, unlike most other RDAs, just does not leak from its AFC. Secondly, this ATI will not accidentally dislodge on you and yet its internals are easily accessible. You see, most RDA top caps are either press fit or are threaded in. This one opens with a twist and won't accidentally open if the air holes are not aligned properly. Nice design, I must agree. And third, 
Oh my god! Isn't it the easiest idea to coil on wick? For one, I admire so Mesto for introducing post girders with their KFN5. Great that many modders are following suit now. With this arrangement, you just don't need to wrap your wires around the post screws. For two, with a 6.5 mm net coiling space, you really have a tremendous amount of workspace to build whatever you like. For three, can't thank Tassos enough for introducing the coiling rod cutout guide in this ID. Overall, this atomizer is a charm to work with. Fourthly, we have some massive juice well going on here. With a capacity of 1.2 ml, the creek does have a longer runtime between dripping routines. Fifthly, with this small AFC port coupled with the 1x2 base air hole, the creek is perfect for mouth to lung vaping. And of course, in its fully open configuration, it can stand in the cloud comps. This is a happy union of both the worlds. Number 6 in my list goes for a well thought out package. Not many models out there dole out everything for the base price. However, here we have a smart box containing all the necessities you would need to configure your vaping experience. Extra mouthpieces, spare screws, o-rings, another post pole, an additional airflow post and to top it off with a really well written user manual. Number 7 is the readily available Ultem mouthpieces and sleeves. Man, you can really mix and match a new look every day with this ID. And everything is done wonderfully. That is my number 8. A well crafted ID this is. Great machining, superb looks, great choice of materials, quality graphics, small and sleek. Yes. Akmezu has truly worked hard on this project. The Creek by Atmezu. Lastly, well, hang in there for one more later. This is the alma mater of RDA vaping. You got to get some great flavor from dripping, right? No worries there. The Creek is the bomb in that department. My e-liquids truly taste amazing with this little fella. Guaranteed you'll be floored with this vape. And yes, finally the price. All this for a mere 68 euros? In my book, the creek is an absolute bargain in that price point. Well done at Mizzou. This is a goddamn well made atomizer. I give it 5 stars, especially for its flavor and ease of use. And no, I have no issues with this ID. It is my favorite RDA as of now. Thanks for watching this video, friends. I hope you enjoyed it. See you again sometime soon. Bye for now. But always remember vaping is a healthier alternative. And we have the right to make that choice.